so before we get into the video today I'm gonna do the draw for the giveaway that was a couple of weeks ago celebrating my one year anniversary and 2k subscribers so just copied and paste the link for the video and you can see there I've got 86 comments and it takes me a little while to work out this program I, I did fast forward this <laughs> because I wasn't used to doing it we have a winner so congratulations to Jessica Cameron. So Jessica, you can either go over to Instagram or you can email me my address. Email address is in the description of the channel. And yeah, let's find out whether you want the Believe Mold or the two pen blanks. Congratulations, Jessica. Hiya, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Toon Peach Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique that I learned about four or five years ago before I actually started resin. Now I've watched a video, I will link this lady's channel down below. I watched a video and it's about decorating big huge planks of board in a demonstration for home furnishings. And this foil that they used in this video, I searched for, this is before I even started doing resin, and it wasn't available in the UK, but it did get me hooked on the technique and onto resin itself. And that's one of the things that made me want to do resin. Now, this lady has gone and she's done loads of videos. I'm pretty sure she's still going, but I don't even know her name. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I accidentally came across her video again recently, watched it again bearing in mind I've been doing resin now for a few years myself. And I searched for this particular foil in the UK and it's available. So I bought some. Now, I've never seen this technique in a video shown for the purposes of art, but there's got to be so many applications you could use this foil for. I was just blown away that I could get it in the UK, to be honest. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Check out how this works. This is demonstration purposes only. It's just, I'll just put it in coasters for now. But oh my goodness, what you could do with this stuff. Have a look, you'll see what I mean. So to start with, I'm just gonna squirt my molds with mold release just to preserve the mold a little bit longer and to help them release when I demold them. So I'm just using Vista Cascade here. It's one of my go-to resins. It's a good price and it's easy to use. So I'm gonna be doing four base colors, two red and two blue. I've just mixed up a couple of blues into that color just so I can get a nice deep blue. And uh, again, a couple of reds into the other ones to get a nice deep red. Not forgetting the squirt with isopropanol alcohol to stop the bubbles and then I just leave it. You don't need to keep coming back when you've done that. But I do go around the edge with a silicone tool just to make sure there's no trap bubbles around the edge. And now I've got to let it cure for 24 hours before I can go any further. So 24 hours later, and this is my metal leaf glue. This is the glue I'm going to be using for the foil. It's not the one the company suggests, but it's the one I have, and that's the one I'm going to use. So in the video that I saw many moons ago, they used a roller to put down the glue. Now they are doing it on big, huge boards for countertops and for kitchen cabinets and all sorts. This is a tiny piece of art. So I don't think a roller would be a good way to do this. <laughs> so I used a paintbrush and I thought, well, I'm not gonna get it exactly flat as they do. They obviously with a roller, you can get it really flat. So I'm just gonna go with the flow and, and do what the brush wants me to make a little pattern of it out of it it may appear on the foil it may not but that's what i'm going to go with i do use a long neck lighter to get rid of the bubbles in the glue if you have flammable glue please don't do that you don't want to set fire to yourself so this is the first piece of foil that i've cut to size it's going to fit inside the mold but it won't be touching the edges the glue that i've put down i deliberately didn't go up to the edge so that you can see round the foil so yeah, I'm scrunching it up. I'm scrunching it up to give it lines. 
<laughs> it's a great technique. It really is. It does do wonders. It's a bit weird, but it does. I'm going to be using a cloth just to push it down because I think if I used my fingers, uh, it would get fingerprints in the glue and that might come out onto the metal itself. So by using a rag or a cloth, it will save the fingerprints. So all this is speeded up for you so that you get the idea and you can see what I'm doing, but without actually sitting there through the whole process, because it does take a little time, especially if you haven't done this before and you want to get it right. So I'm using a metal, it's actually a dentist tool to get the plastic up from the side so that I can lift it and pull it out. My dexterity isn't as good as it used to be. So using metal tools or tools make it a lot easier. So you can see the, the effect it gives by crunching it up. It kind of gives lines like a tree or cracks in the pavement. I don't know how you want to describe it really, but I think it's a great effect. And this foil, I just can't rave about it enough. I just love it. These foils are adorable in my opinion. And there are so many different patterns. The possibilities are endless with this. And I'd love to see what other people do with them. Just let me know in the comments below what you think. What would you use them for? There are times when for the foil doesn't actually come onto the glue properly and you can push the foil back down into that space and just rub it again and the foil will come off. Now, I didn't do that on one of them and there does have little gaps, but I realised afterwards that you can just push it back down and the foil will stick to it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of music on here and let you watch the magic happen. These foils are adorable in my opinion and there are so many different patterns. Now this one I had a little bit of trouble with. I did scrunch it, but I think I might have scrunched it a little bit too much or I put a bit too much glue on or both. I may have pressed it a little too hard, bearing in mind it was scrunched and there was a lot of glue on there into the glue and it kind of got stuck and the glue came away with the plastic. However, after cutting it away because I didn't want to ruin the piece altogether, I did go in after this without taking video of it and I put a little bit more glue on and a spare piece of the same colour and it took it lovely and it sorted the problem out.
So just giving it a quick top coat. I'm not going to go right up to the top of the moulds. They are huge, these moulds. I don't know if you've ever used them. They are really deep moulds. And I don't want to use that much resin for an experiment and a demonstration. So after 24 hours, I can demould and look at the gorgeous effects that these foils make. Yes, they've been around for a long time. Yes, they've been used in America for a long time. I've never seen them in the UK before. What fun we can have with these foils. Well, I was absolutely blown away with the results. They were so easy to use. I used my own glue that I had instead of using the company's particular glue. Their glue apparently lasts for a lifetime. So if you were to paint it onto a surface, let it cure, you can go back six months later and still use it. The glue I have only gives you 24 hour periods. So, but I had it, so I wasn't gonna buy any more glue. Now, when I ordered these, I ordered the four that I thought were going to be the most dramatic, but they have so many designs there. Not really into leopard print or tigers or zebras, but they have them and they have quite a lot of patterns and flowers. Again, I'm not really into flowers. I will tell you which ones I have. This one is holographic pebbles and it is like a copper. It's so, so gorgeous. I have... Adele which is a little flowery but it's holographic colours and I scratched that one and I love love the results. I have the silver oh, sorry I haven't got my glasses on <laughs> silver holographic lines which is this one and again I crunched that up because I thought the lines would be too much but doing the cracks in them I thought really worked well. And I have confetti silver. They also do confetti gold. And if you're into gold, oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that? Now I have put edges right around these just to show it off really so you can see the depth of it. I didn't like the gold that I used on this one. It's the same type of pen. The silver is lovely. The gold is more like mustard. However, it does show what I wanted it to. Now when I ordered this, it's £11.50 a roll. Or sheet however you want to describe it. it came in a tube came very quickly but when I got them out I thought no these are tiny absolutely tiny but look look at this it's huge when you're doing art when you're doing art how much do you need that's how much I've needed <laughs> it's gonna last me a long time this it is so thin the plastic is so thin with the metal foil on top of it that it, it, it can roll up really small. So there's actually quite a lot here. Okay, let's leave it on the floor, shall we? <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching me. I hope this has given you some insight into this technique that we'll be using it again in the future. And I might even try using it on sticky resin rather than putting glue any down, down at all. So, <laughs> check out my videos in the future. Please, if you, could, if you could put the thumbs up, I would be extremely grateful. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I come back every week with weird and wonderful things. And I'm going to put some steels up at the end. I hope, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this one. Have a great week and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.